bit of trouble here. Luz Fon's a really, really great player, but Violet looked so dominant during the first game. Yeah, so let's swap on over into the main screen here. And uh, spawning down here in the bottom right-hand corner from Team uh, Carante, 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 Carante Esports. Carante Esports. Yeah. It is our green Terran, Lucifron. And spawning up here in the top left-hand corner. Take it away, buddy. Okay, spawning up here in the top left corner of Ohana, we do have a Zubu Violet as our blue Zerg. So I got a question for you. Who, in your opinion, is better looking, Lucifron or Vortex? And be very careful. Vortex might be listening. A Lucifron or Vortex? Uh -huh. Oh, that's a that's a that's a weird question to ask. Mm -hmm. Which brother would I rather take? This sounds like some sort of <laughs> awful high school quiz about like some sort of like seventh heaven type of show. This is Reddit, would you rather? <laughs> uh, would I rather? Uh, I, you know what? I would have to go with Lucifron. All right. Um, I'm gonna tell me not that. not not just for any reason other than the fact that whenever Lucifron streams, he <laughs> blares Dream Theater the entire time. Now I don't know <laughs> if you know who Dream Theater is. They're this progressive rock band from like the 1980s, and they've been playing since the 1980s. And uh, some of the best instrumental artists in the world uh, are actually part of it. So that's just. You know, it just tickles my fancy. When Lucifron, your fancy. When Lucifron's playing Dream Theater, I'm just like, I can listen to this. Oh, wow. Look at this. Lucifron actually dropping two racks on the low ground and Violet being really, really smart here, actually doing a drone scout. And I have a feeling he's going to scout this because he's going to walk up. He's going to count the number of SCVs that are in his opponent's main and he's going to know something's up. Well, you know what's really interesting about this is that actually since Lucifron did the command center first build last time, Violet might be walking up and say, okay, this is a standard build. So this is actually playing very well into the meta of a tournament-style yeah. setting where you have a best of three, where the first game you do something, you know, say, like um, like Command Center first, mm -hmm. and you only go for the one supply depot, so there's no barracks. And then the second game, you play that mind game that Day9 was oh so oh, adamant geez. about, <laughs> um, where you do pretty much the same thing. It looks, you know, for all intents and purposes, the same thing, but now you're throwing down those two braxes on the bottom. Oh, man, he's not going to scout it. Oh, it might actually see the SCV. I'm just wondering if anything's thrown away to him. I mean, usually these players are going to have a good idea of the SCV count. I figured Violet would have would have saw that and actually been able to, uh, you know, see if, figure something was up, but apparently not. His spawning pool is on the way. No gas as he had. And oh, what is going on here? Actually pulling a ton of uh, drones down to low ground here. Maybe he is getting ready for this. He might be. I mean, he did see yeah. the second SCV. Once you see a second SCV on the way, you know something's kind of up. Um, now the second wow. hatchery is just about to finish up, so these drones can actually just go straight Maynard right back over into the mineral line. Um, not really wasting too much. Uh, actually, no, now yeah, he's wasting he a lot of mining depth. Yeah, he is. Wow. Um, kind of interesting. It looks like he will be able to get this. Oh, that one last SCV does go down. But here come the start of the stream of Marines going in here. But if the drones get us around all these Marines, it's actually not going to be too good for Lucifron. He's going to be losing a lot of his forces here. Um, two more Marines on the way, but there are so many drones. Losing a lot of mining time, as we were saying before. But of course, um, if Lucifron doesn't really work out here, he's going to be a little yep, bit behind because he doesn't have any type of natural on the way. There are Zerglings on the field right now. I think Lucifron is in a lot of trouble. He's got a command center on the way, but these Zerglings are going to tear apart these Marines in just a few seconds here. It looks like there are two more entering into the, f the battlefield down here, but it uh, looks like these Marines are going to get picked off unless Lucifron can do some crazy micro, but I don't think it's going to be enough here. Yeah. You need that stutter step. Do that you stutter even step. stutter step? <laughs> oh, but there's only five oh, wow. Zerglings left. He might actually be able to StarCraft oh. micro mass through this no unfortunately yeah. not looks like a zuba violet is just as good at microing um and it looks like there's one little guy who's got three health left is he going to survive with four oh, kills too this know. early on it looks like actually lucifron may hold this position but i don't think it's going to hold for too much longer here it looks like very nice micro that marine barely surviving there and that marine actually getting an extra kill on his own and so now actually violet's going to go up into the natural and take a look to see what is going on there isn't a supply depot wall but it is not complete and is the scv oh. going to make it in time it's going to be really close here it looks like violet does is not going to make it in but can he see the command center yes he can the command center and that is going to be one of those just tipping points of just a little bit more information to violet and uh you know the more information information that these pro players get, the more that they can Absolutely. completely react perfectly. Now, there's a spine crawler that has gone down here. Um, a little bit weird, because he's still kind of expecting to see a little bit of aggression, it looks like. Uh, two more barracks is going down here for Lucifron. And actually, we've evened out pretty well. I wow. mean, Violet's just a little bit ahead mm -hmm. right now in the worker count. He can start droning up like crazy. He did uh, delay his queens, however, when he went for all of those uh, Zergling to try and counter that. 
Yeah, that's an excellent point. And I think Violet's really going to shoot up here in just a moment. Once the first injects come through, that's when players really, really seem to jump up in supply, especially with uh, the drone count. It looks like there's actually going to be three barracks in total, actually four barracks in total. looks like one on the high ground. And so really, what, where's Lucifer going from here? I mean, he's going to have to decide on which tech route he wants to do. Maybe he's going to go for maybe a quick third command center. We all know he's behind right now, but by how much? I mean, can we take a look at the worker kills? Uh, workers killed Only right now. Three and two. Two and okay, three. So yeah, so bad. it's really not bad at all. I mean, those were the two that came in from before trying to put down those uh, those bunkers. So those were pretty much, you know, it's like when Kibbles goes gambling. He already just expects <laughs> to lose the money. He's not that upset when he actually loses it. Um, you know, he could have come out on head, but no, he just, he already expected to lose the money. It's already gone. No comment. I'm not, not going to say anything <laughs> in regards to that. But it uh, looks like Violet is sitting on two gas. That is natural right now. I'm wondering if he's going to go for a quick layer this game, maybe go defensive banelings and, and tech a different route. Has not taken a third. And it uh, looks like Lucifer's going to stay with, with uh, Bio this game. He's sticking with a, cu a couple of barracks in the low ground. Probably going to start Stim j here shortly. Uh, Combat Shields is on the way. And there's the baneling nest with two additional Evo Chambers from Violet. Yeah, so it looks like we might be seeing a little bit more Baneling aggression um, since he can already see that uh, his opponent was kind of focusing a little bit. He already has the two barracks out and uh, so there's you know there's obviously going to be a lot of Marines that are going to be coming out here from Lucifer. so it's a very good read from Violet. Uh, in case of any type of earlier aggression he's going to have Banelings ready. He's already got speed on the way as we were mentioning before and uh, he'll probably grab that quick plus one plus one uh, as soon as you know he has a significant economic lead. He's got his third base coming up as well. Yeah actually I like this from Violet. He's doing you know defensive. He's not overextending. He's not doing kind of corners nearly as much this game uh, able to get that quick throw up there he has the defensive baneling gonna have zergling speed along with 1-1 and lucifron i mean after losing that that early strat he is forced into going bio he really there's no way he'd be able to go into mech after that and that's a great read from violet he knows he's going for the bio forces and violet's going for the the perfect counter to it he's getting banelings he's getting i, I want to see when his layers come out here though oh wow and so we can see that the uh, response from Lucifron <laughs> to all of the barracks that he had earlier uh, was to pump out a lot of Marines. Now, this is going to be a really good engagement until Banelings start to come out. And that's exactly what Violet was already prepared to do. He's already got four Banelings on the way, 14 more Zergling as well. Um, is Lucifron going to be able to do the damage he needs to do? Is he going to be able to run in here? He doesn't oh, have Stim. Wow. Now, here comes one of those Banelings. Oh. Is he going to be able to get a split? Oh. No, there's a whole bunch of Marines that get taken out. Yeah. I Glad we're not on camera now. My face is scared. Uh, that is really hard to that watch. Was, that was not. That was not pleasant. <laughs> What's not amazing pleasant uh, from Violet there is he actually had two evolution chambers pinned together that created kind of like a narrow choke, and so Lucifron walked right into a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. I mean, we need Admiral Akbar in these uh, in these events a lot more often. Yeah, but that's really hard to watch. I'm. I'm Man, Lucifron, such a great player. I'm so, I'm so sorry to, to see him go 2 like, or 2 like that. Well, he will be moved down to the loser's bracket. This is still the winner's Absolutely. bracket. So we will be able to see Lucifron come back possibly later on. Um, you know, maybe even go against his brother again. Oh. Um, but Violet, of course, keeping on with after 2 0 Todd and now mm -hmm. 2 0 uh, Lucifron. Violet's on a good streak. Team Azubo did pick up a really good player to make their first uh, choice into StarCraft 2. Absolutely. Um, so it looks like I don't know. Uh, well, I think next? I think we're going to be going to commercials, but I think after this, Where are we ladies to? and gentlemen, we have DRG and Beyond coming up. Ooh, buddy! Ooh, buddy! <gasps> Ooh, I'm, excited. I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Two Code A players. Oh no, Code A and Code, code S. That's right. Yeah. That's right. DRG was in Code S. Uh, was taken out in the round of 16. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have some pretty good GSL champs coming out, um, and I am just. Incredibly excited. Once again, I am Sham2. And I'm Jay Morrow. You can follow us on Twitter at Sham2. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Let me play this around way. with this. At Sham2. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, yeah, do you want to try it? You want to try lifting? I'm not that strong. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll lift it for you. Oh. Jay Morrow Pro. You're so uh, nice. You can catch us on Twitter or uh, you can catch us in the next match. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back.